All right, guys, so something awesome occurred. So you guys know that box turtle I got off LO Reptiles, and I knew, I felt her, she had eggs, she was gravid. And I was really nervous because, um, well, you are, I'm sure you already know where I'm getting to. Anyway, I was nervous that she wasn't gonna lay in because she was shipped, and it's a lot of stress on animal. But I came in here today, I felt her, and she does not have eggs. So somewhere in here, there are box turtle eggs. And you already know what I'm about to do for the next few hours. I'm gonna look for them. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. This is so exciting because it's like, it's box turtle eggs. It's Eastern box turtle eggs. Something that is actually in need of conservation. So I'm super, super, super excited about this. And I'll keep you guys posted. Like I'll keep you guys posted the entire way. If I find them, I'll do up, up, blah, blah, blah. I'll do update videos on the eggs and everything. So I'm so hyped. I just really need to watch where I step. That's what I'm really nervous about. I would be fine leaving them in here if no one walked in here, but I'm always in here looking around for them. So I don't want to, you know, accidentally step on the nest or something. That would be horrible. But um, if I don't find them, hopefully I'll find the babies in a few months. So yeah, guys, I'm so, so excited right now. It came very obvious to me very quickly. I was not gonna find these eggs. This is what I would consider a somewhat large enclosure. And I was gone for the weekend and there is no way, I mean, that's when she laid them. And there was no way I would have known where she laid them. I was just digging in areas where I thought, you know, maybe a box turtle would lay them. Like around the pond, it's you know, more of a sandy, loose soil. But um, one other thing is, it was raining for four days straight, pretty much. So any evidence of a nest was and is gone. So basically what I'm hoping for now is just the best. I'm hoping that, you know, they'll hatch in anywhere between 70 to 120 days. You know, just find them out here in the pen. That's what happens to Chris Leone a lot of times, you know, um, Garden State Tortoise. He has a bunch of box turtles, multiple groups, and he finds a lot of turtles just, they hatch naturally. So I am hoping that's what happens here, but, um, I'll let you guys know, I'll give you updates. I'm being very careful where I step. This is very important to me. But you also have to keep in mind, there's always the possibility that she didn't dig a nest and lay them, that she just laid them and then turned around and ate them or another turtle came and ate them. It's a possibility, it happens to some breeders. But um, I feel like she would have laid them. I mean, she's comfortable now. She was very shy at first, but now she's comfortable. So you know, we'll just have to see. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated, but until then, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I mean, there's really no telling what would have happened until we either find the babies or or not. But the good news is, she's a breeder. I mean, she lays eggs. She's, obviously the eggs were, you know, somewhat viable. I felt them in her and they were big. It felt like to me there was, you know, anywhere between four to six. So it was on the larger clutch size. Whether she'll lay another clutch, I don't know. It's getting pretty late in the year for that. But at least we know that she can lay eggs and she's healthy to lay eggs and we'll just have to see where that takes us. I also want to tell you guys about a milestone we're about to hit and that is 2,000 subscribers. That's right, 2,000 subscribers. My goal was 2,300 by the end of this year. And we're only halfway through and we're basically at 2,000 subscribers. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's awesome. I, I can't believe 2,000 subscribers, but, um, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for growth. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna set goals a whole lot. I'm just wanna see where this takes us and by the end of the year, see what happens. But I'm very excited because, you know, the hardest part is getting to a thousand subscribers. And then once you get from a thousand, it just gets growing faster and faster and faster. I hit a thousand subscribers or 2000 subscribers quicker than I hit a thousand. So we should be hitting 3000 quicker than I got 2000. So there's a possibility by the end of this year, we have like 3,000 subscribers, 3,000 shelled reptile subscribers. So that is super exciting. I don't know, can you see? No, uh, you can't really, but Chester's actually right here. He's taking a dip in the water. I actually kind of need to clean this right now, but got lily pads and goldfish and stuff in there. But um, this is gonna be the video. Oh wait, before you go, the 2,000 subscriber special. If you were around or if you saw the video, the 1,000 subscriber special was a Q&A. 
Now call me unoriginal, but I want to do that again. You know, more people, more subscribers, more questions to be answered. So I want you guys, as your opinion, what do you want to know about me, turtles? Leave a question and, you know, Q&A. Um, obviously, it won't be posted until we hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to give it a little bit more time after that just so we have you know, a good cycle for everyone to watch this video to post their question. But um, until then, just let me know. Just leave a question. All right, just That's all it is. Leave a question. Also, I would like to let you guys know about the Shelter Up Tiles video schedule. I now pretty much am set in stone to doing two videos a week. Sometimes three videos, you know, I like to have some pre-recorded and planned out and I post them schedulely. But if something big like, you know, a turtle lays eggs or turtles are hatching or something like that, then I'll maybe throw an extra third or maybe even fourth video within that week. But I want you guys' opinion with this as well as with the questions. What days would you like to see, see a Shelter Reptiles video come out? Um, it'll either be morning or night. So I would like them to be kind of spread apart, you know, not like Thursday, Friday. I would like it to maybe be Monday and Thursday so it's not back to back. So just let me know what days would you like to see a Shout Out Taz video come out? So make sure you leave those in the comments. This should be, you know, just kind of random fun video, community video. But um, let me know what you think, ask questions um, about the video days and stuff like that. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. guys get a look at my stupid tan line.